Hi all, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today's project is this, this is the second in my 2020 fall series. Um, I don't actually know how many I'll have, but this is the second one. And this is a stylized sunflower mug. I'm using two types of painting styles. I'm using the mandala, the dot mandala, and also just decorative painting. I hope you enjoy this project. Let's get started. In today's projects, I'm going to be using the DecoArt Americana Gloss Enamels in dark chocolate, uh, primary yellow, white, true red, bright orange, and avocado. And I'm using this general scryball pencil that was recommended to me from one of my subscribers who um, uh, told me about this, this uh, particular pencil which can uh, draw on glass. So I'm going to give it a try and let's see how it works. And then I'm using this mug I got from the Dollar Tree and it is a fantastic sort of uh, burnt orange color. Um, unfortunately, I only found one. They had plenty of plates and bowls, but only one mug. So um, this will be a project of one. I'll also be using a number four filbert for my painting brush. You could also use a round brush or even a flat brush and my regular dotting tools. I have cleaned this mug off with alcohol and I'm using my mandala stencils. I just want to get, I'm going to randomly place this. I'll be placing three and I'm just using um, this scryball pencil, the general scryball and my mandala uh, stencil, my small one to just find the center so that when I actually dot the mandala, I'll have some reference. And you can see that um, it's light, but I can see it um, just fine. So that was one and I'll put a second one down. I'm just brushing off a little bit of extra uh, pencil um, shavings that were there. And then I'll just place three. And I'm just randomly placing this. The only thing I'm trying to keep in mind is that when you use paint on um, anything that you're going to eat or drink out of, um, you want to make sure, number one, what the um, paint manufacturer says about the paint. But you don't want to get, in this case, a mug. You don't want to get paint all the way up to the lip of the um, cup where people are going to be drinking. You want to leave a little space. So I've got three colors here. I've got um, the primary yellow, white, and the orange. And I'm just loading my brush kind of in a one stroke style where I'll get a couple of different colors on my brush. I'm not being overly precise with this, but I'm using the mandala and then I'm just going to brush down uh, some petals. And you can see it's kind of fun uh, when you have the multicolors on your on your brush. I'm just trying to keep the outside. I didn't draw an outside circle, but I'm trying to keep the petals roughly the same size. I'm not going to paint all the way in the middle, although you could if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that open. If you need to, if you feel like the paint's a little bit sheer, you can certainly go over it again. I will go over uh, some of the petals again. So that was my first one. Here's my second one. And again, just kind of keeping it away from the top edge of that cup. These petals are a little bit smaller than the previous ones. And I'm not worrying about how many uh, sometimes I think I'm, I'm generally ending up with about 12. Um, I'll actually be using an eight dot mandala, eight segment mandala for the centers. Okay, that's flower number two. And here we are with number three. I'd like to know, would you like to see some com more videos on combining uh, painting styles? I in the uh, early 90s, I did a lot of decorative painting and toll painting was all the rage then. So I did a lot of it. I'm slightly out of practice, but uh, I would like to start incorporating more of the decorative style of painting, particularly with roses or other flowers into my mandala, my dot mandala designs. Let me know if you're interested in that. And you can see I just went over one of them again. I'll just go over a couple if I think I need to refine them. Or add a little bit more paint. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to add some leaves and I'm going to be making these leaves with the orange and the avocado. Any color green will do. And I'm just gonna freeform some leaves. I start a little wider and then kind of release uh, my brush to a little point. Sometimes overlapping the petals. I was going for a sunflower look here. I'm not entirely sure this looks like a sunflower. <laughs> I think I, uh, the petals are a little round at the tip, but um, I still like the way this is turning out. I'll add a little extra paint if I think I need to. Okay, now I mentioned earlier in the video that um, you want to keep the paint away from the lip. You don't want people's mouth touching uh, touching that paint. It's non-toxic, but still. Um, so I am going to take some paint off of this leaf so I have more space at the top there. And um, using the Q-tip, and then I'll just kind of scrape off a little extra paint. It's not it's just been drying for the length of the time that I've been painting. Um, so I had to work a little bit to get some of that paint off, but I could scrape a little bit off with my nail to kind of refine the shape a little bit and to get that away from the lip. This is the gloss enamel, so I can put this in the oven to bake it, and then that'll make it dishwasher safe. Now I'm taking off the um, the pencil lines that I put down because they are a waxy base and I don't want to have a problem with my paint adhering. And now I'm going to start the mandala. You could do the center of this however you wanted. You could just simply load it up with a bunch of dots. I think that would look really great. I wanted to keep with the dot mandala theme, so I'm going to be using the chocolate brown in my G6 four millimeter, and I will place a dot of the brown in the center of each one of these sunflowers. And then I will use a fairly nail, a fairly small nail dotter to put eight segments, eight dots around. So I'll go north, south, and then east, west, and then fill it in. And I'll have a total of eight dots. And then using the same size, I'll do another round of the dark chocolate in between the dots on the previous row. I like how when you load your brush up in that one stroke sort of style that um, you get the variations in the paint colors. Now I'm using a large, my largest nail dotter and the avocado green and I'm going in between the dots on the previous row and just building out that mandala. Now I'm using my G6 four millimeter and the bright orange.
and I'm going in with a smaller nail dotter and the primary yellow and right in between those orange dots I'll put it just drop a little bit of yellow there Now with the brown and my larger nail dotter, I will walk the dots up the center of these petals. Sometimes I curve them a little bit. Now this is not on precision with the mandala, you know, sometimes it's not, it's not, in other words, it's not exactly above a previous dot. I'm just making sure that I have this little uh, row of walking the dots on each petal. Now I'm using a small nail dotter and my yellow and I'm just filling in a little bit of that blank space where the petal ended and the mandala ended. There's a little bit of a gap there so I'm just going to fill it in with a little bit of the yellow. Just kind of randomly placing dots to fill in some of that space. You could pull some of the yellow up onto the petal a little more if you like that look. Okay, now I am going to use the bright orange and my large nail dotter and I'm going to put a little vein on the leaves. And then I will do that on each one of the sunflowers. I have quite a bit of silence here as I just let you watch that. Don't forget, you know, I get comments about the video goes too fast or the video goes too slow. Use the controls um, on your device to either slow the video down or speed it up or pause it if you'd like to have a better look at something that I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to keep the videos, you know, relatively short. Um, sometimes, you know, I'm usually in at least the 30 minute range. This one's a little shorter. Um, but don't forget you can use those controls to speed it up or slow it down. Um, again, I want to ask you, do you want to see some of the de more decorative painting with the dot, the dot painting? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Um, it really um, helps my channel, keeps me encouraged. Um, I'm getting back into painting after being away for so long. Um, and then if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I release other videos. And I want to thank you all for, for doing that. I actually liked the way this one turned out, and I wish I'd had more. I wish I had more of these mugs so that I could make a little set. But I guess I'll keep looking. You know, the Dollar Tree's hit or miss sometimes. Okay, now I'm just going in with my large nail dotter and the primary yellow, and I'm just dropping little um, three dots, little um, decorative element on this, uh, on this mug. And let's take a look at how that turned out. 
I love it. I think it turned out great. Let's get a little closer look at this detail. There we go. This would be nice in some other colors. I have some of these Dollar um, Tree cups in um, gray and blue and black, so that'd be nice in some different colors. Let's uh, take a look at this. Um, I just put three cups here so you could see the different sections of the cup. Um, I want to thank you so much for, for um, joining me in my studio. Painting is such a respite uh, and such a salve for the soul. I hope you enjoy these videos and I hope you take some time out uh, for yourself to, to do some painting. Thanks again for joining me in my studio. Take care.